What is the new lens implant and how does light help you, the doctor, readjust what the patient needs? Yeah. What's neat about this lens implant, there are molecules, uh -huh. all right, in the lens that will, when they get hit with a certain wavelength of UV light, a certain, a certain very specific amount of, of ultraviolet, ultraviolet light, light, those molecules that are like this will connect. Okay, and so that as they connect, it changes the shape of the lens, and as it changes the shape of the lens, that changes the power of the lens. It's for the very first time, really in the history of the world, that we can actually change and fine tune someone's vision after cataract surgery. So if I had cataract surgery 10 years ago and I came in and said, hey, I want you to rearrange the molecules in my new lens, what would you say? Unable. <laughs> uh, unable <laughs> sorry. to do. So, Sorry, but no. <laughs> you were 10 years too early. Yeah. But people that come in now, one of the options you can give them is the ability to have adjustability of the lens. Is that the proper that, terminology? Yeah, I think that's a very good way to, a way to put it. Um, one thing that I, when I'm counseling patients about what their lens implant options are, some people are not good candidates for different lenses for one reason or the other. Uh, the, the only reason, well, the main reason someone wouldn't be a good candidate for a light adjustable lens is if the pupil is just too small. So when we do the adjustments, we need to have a big pupil. So it, the, the pupil has to get to a moderately large size when we dilate it, but that's usually no big deal. But as far as the, the light adjustability goes, when we're doing, we, we put the lens implant in, here's how it works. We put one lens implant in, assuming so we're doing two eyes, we'll do the other eye, you know, a week or two later. And then starting about three weeks after surgery, so we want to let it get healed up a little bit, mm -hmm. we start doing adjustments. And people will, be, will get between one and three adjustments. Okay, so you have to get one, maximum of three. Um, most people get a, a, about two adjustments. And then there will be two what are called lock-in periods, lock-in treatments. So there's one that puts, puts the cap on. Right. And so, and the reason for that, as I mentioned, those molecules, you know, there's only so many of those molecules in the lens implant that you can connect. And once they're connected, they, they can't change unconnect. again. They can't unconnect or change. So there's, there's a, only a certain amount of, of movement that we can make with the lens implant. And then once we get someone where we want them, well, we don't want it to change. So those what the, the lock-in periods or lock-in treatments are basically using up the rest of those little molecules so that once it's set, it's set. So one thing to, to, to know, it's adjustable until we get where we want it to be, but it's not infinitely adjustable over years and years and years. So once we get it set, then it's set. Okay, by once you get it set, it's set, meaning five years down the road, if you say there's something going on, uh, all the fixing's been done. All the fixing's been done, yes.